Okay, we're gonna give this a shot. We're gonna talk about my new bag. Yes, I've been wanting to get a slightly bigger bag. Let me grab this for you real fast. So this is what I've been using. So when I go fly, I wear this on the front. This is an Air Travel 2. I just wear it on the front in this bag. Hope I didn't kick the mic there. Has some nice features. For one, the strap buckle is on the side. So it's not right in your back. So you can wear this with a backpack. This is again an Air Travel, no, Air Daysling 2. And this is an awesome, and the sleek black matches the Day 3 backpack that I have, or Travel 3 backpack that I have. I love it. It's got great pockets. It's a great, just little carry bag. Except, I like stuff. When I fly, I like to take this and put it under the seat, so I want everything I need with me when I fly in this bag. And the, of course, travel bag has the stuff I don't need on the flight up in it. So there's a couple of issues with this. One is I couldn't get my camera in it. It also sort of limited my first aid kit, which I'm a little bit of a freak when it comes to the first aid kit. So what I did was I upgraded. Hold there. I upgraded to the Daysling 3 Max. This thing has tons of room. I can fit everything I want in here. So, like the Day Sling 2, it's got the buckle on the side. It does have this sort of weird magnetic buckle. I haven't decided if I like it or not yet. Um, I'll let you know. I've seen mixed reviews myself on it. But this has can hold everything I need. So let's unpack this guy. We'll go over what I've got in here. So let's get everything out of here. And then we'll pack her. I'll show you what I'm what I'm carrying around in here. Let's see if I can remember how to get it all back in and everything. Uh, so I'll probably fast forward this section of the video. Uh, at least we forget the back pocket here. And I'm not probably gonna take that. Oh yeah, okay. These. Uh, and the front pocket. Okay, so let's start with the inside of the bag. It's got three pockets, front, middle. The middle has lots of organization, including what I haven't unpacked yet. It's a little zippered pocket on the inside. This is the most secure pocket. I keep in there knickknacks of things. I've got a couple, uh, I've got my Ubi key in there. I got a spare credit card, a couple keys that frankly I forgot what one's for and a SIM card ejector. I just keep that right in here. And of course, can't go anywhere without a couple challenge coins to give out. So I just keep those in here. And when I travel, this is where I stick like money and my passport and stuff like that uh, when, when I don't need the passport out right away. If I need it out right away, I put it in my pocket. So the very, very front pocket has a clip in there for keys. I keep my earphones on this and I'll put my, or my earplugs I'll put my keys on here when I travel. So let's go over what I keep in the very front pocket. So to start with, I've got some, some of the uh, disinfected hand wipes. Delta was passing the stuff out like candy, so I got a whole bunch of them. I like these over like, just the gel because there is no way these open and spill all over your case. They're individually sealed. They're the same Purell. Uh, alcohol prep. They probably last a little longer because they're sealed. That's just a guess. But they're really convenient and they don't leak. So I use them. And I keep a couple Bravo Sierra uh, cleaning wipes just to freshen up after a long flight. And they're just handy for everything. They're just basically a industrial wet wipe there. Quite nice. Uh, Bravo Sierra. It's a company on the internet. So and then besides the that the front pocket, I keep the meds. I've got some decongestant. I like my whatever meds I think I want to have for the flight. I often have Alka-Seltzer, decongestants, chapstick, and of course, I keep my dental gloss. All hygiene's important. 
And of course, you cannot travel without having your backup stadia and emergency coffee supply ready at all times. So all these go back in the front pocket. Now in the very, very back pocket here, I keep my first aid kit. Now, watch the channel may or may not know that I was a medic, technically still am, but I don't really practice anymore. I'm semi-retired. The um, So I keep a little bit bigger first aid kit. I keep a splinter on, a sand splint. These are handy for many things, not, not besides just splinting. It, it's also handy for holding up phones and things like that. So I keep that around in this pack here. It's uh, not very heavy, very, very light, flexible, doesn't take up that much room, but you need a little bit of width for it. Then I keep my bulk first aid here, which has way more than anybody would really want in here. It's got basically bleeding control, chest seals, etc. that a tactical medic would want because, well, that's me. And then, separately, a more reasonable thing is I've got some band-aids, I've got some bull skin in here for blisters, and some triple antibiotic ointment. I always keep this with me when I travel. Then in the main compartment, this is where you've got all the room. I can actually take my tablet and fit it all the way down inside this pocket. It would fit better without the case. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to keep the case on or not, but it does fit in there with everything else I'm about to show you. Well, let's take that out for now because it will fall out and break. So, in the main pocket I keep the things that I frequently need. I keep a couple masks when I travel. I don't really use them as much anymore, but I use them in the airport. That's obviously a personal thing. To round out the first aid kit, I keep it in the main pocket because it's got the room. I keep a Cat 5 tourniquet. And then some more practical day-to-day -day stuff that I suspect most people carry. I keep my sunglasses, a sunglasses case in there. I keep a pin. There's actually a convenient little pin spot. I don't know if it was originally meant for a pin spot, but there's a convenient spot right here to uh, hook your pin. Very handy. I, of course, keep glasses. Now, there's many, like, travel glasses that you can get. I've seen them, and I have some. They're really quite handy to pack away small. But I find out when I want glasses, I want them fast. I don't want to unpack them and unwind them. So I just keep a regular pair of reading glasses. There's plenty of room in this pass for it. Keep them right on top. Then, I like to travel with a multi-tool. So I had... Uh, that little TSA, of, uh, I think it's called TSA style. It's a, or sorry, a Leatherman style of TSA approved uh, multi-tool. It doesn't have any blade on it. It's really nice, really handy, except one thing, it's, it's TSA approved, which if you go into Mexico, Colombia, other places, they don't know what TSA is, and they certainly don't meet the approval. So I had it confiscated from me in Mexico, even though it's TSA approved. So I've actually switched to this little card style multi-tool that's got uh, you can put credit cards in here money if you want just hold it on as a clip it's got a bottle opener it's got sockets for uh, small small socket heads it's got some edges for screwdrivers no one has confiscated from me and I've flown this on several flights in several countries now never been grabbed up from me it's also not very expensive so if it gets grabbed up who cares I have another one that I carry with me in my pocket it's got a little bit of a sharp edge on there, and I don't take it on airplanes. So I, this one doesn't have any sharp edges, and no one's confiscated it, so I use this. I keep a flat wall board with me, too. This thing opens up, so I can plug in and charge if I need to. I keep a, one of the universal cables with me in the bag. It's not that universal. It does have one for Apple. Uh, I don't have any Apple products. Well, I guess the tablet is, but it uses USB-C. It's got the, that Apple adapter. It's got standard USB-C and it's got micro. It goes to USB-A on the other side, which conveniently plugs into my battery bank, which is a 13 amp hour, 13,000 milliamps, but it's 13 amp hour. This can charge my phone twice. It's nice, it's thin, a little bulky, but you know, not that bad. It's a fast charger and it's got USB-A out and USB-C in. Hope you can see that okay. I keep that. And I travel with a spare cable. This is probably overkill. 
but I keep a slightly longer USB A to C cable with me that I like to have. Then besides that, as far as things go, oh, it's still on the back, it's still on the back. I keep a set of wired headsets with me. Why? Because no matter what else fails, you always have the wired headsets. I keep these in here and I keep a couple little adapters in here. I think this is a, um, oh yeah, so a USB-C to wired so it works with my phone and it works with entertainment systems on the airplane. In my kit for my phone, or my headphone kit, I also keep a Bluetooth adapter because I, I travel with uh, the uh, QC45s from Bose, their Bluetooth, and I have a little Bluetooth to uh, audio jack uh, converter that I keep in that kit. I'm not showing that now though, but that's just your standard uh, QC45s with a little Bluetooth adapter so I can use those with the in-flight entertainment system on the airplanes. Then the only other thing I keep in the main compartment on a regular basis is a flashlight. This is a small USB rechargeable flashlight, super handy. When I go walking around at night, I keep this with me too. I keep this in my pocket if I don't bring the big sling. And I frequently don't travel with this big sling. I'll just toss a little bit of first aid, uh, my multi-tool with a card on it, like one credit card, I don't care if it gets stolen. And this flashlight, and it came in like the other night, last night actually, I was in a bar, it should be no shock to anyone that knows me, power in the entire neighborhood went out. I had a flashlight with me. Of course this bar in Ecuador, didn't stop anybody from drinking, didn't stop the bartender from serving. So that's pretty much what I keep in the main pouch. There's a couple extra little things I keep in there. This is an Acor heart monitor. This is just fun. I've, I've only used it on a couple patients, uh, but it's so light and cheap. It's just fun to keep around because you can whip it out and do some cardiac monitoring. If you happen to be an old medic who understands how to read cardiac monitors. I also keep, uh, which one is this? This is a tile tag in the bag. In fact, I actually put tile in almost all my bags. I got one in my travel backpack. I keep one in my orange box. And this is, I can just track the tags, see where they are. And I've had this, my phone set up to alert me if I drive away and leave my bag somewhere. I've had mixed results with that. I think it's best just to try to remember it. So these are the basic things I carry in the bag. I can also put my Fuji uh, 100V, the little portable Fuji travel camera that I got. It fits in here just nice, as well as the microphone system that I'm currently using. I can't show you the Fuji in here because, well, I'm filming myself on it. I'm using the microphone, oh, but I've got the little bag here. So I'll toss this in there too. And I've got a little kit that's like a polarizer that I can also toss in this bag if I'm going out for a day of shooting. It's a very small camera. I don't carry too many filters, but the polarizer is nice. I'm going to put this back in the bag before I forget about it, because these are the things you lose. There's one other thing I keep in the bag. I don't have it here in front of me, but you might have noticed that I'm kind of a big boy. Flying on first class and pretty much any coach U.S. flights, yeah, the seatbelt fits me. Uh, some of these international flights, like LATAM, Love flying with Tam, Avianca, love them too. But they're used to a slightly smaller type of individual who is not quite as fat. So I keep a spare seatbelt hook with me. Um, do the airlines like it if you bring your own? I've heard mixed, never asked, didn't figure I want to know. I just use it. It gets a seatbelt on me and no one's ever said anything. And it's super handy to have. That way I don't have to fly down a flight attendant and try to get a belt from her or him. Uh, I just like bringing my own. So I do carry that with me as well. And let's see, I already mentioned the extra credit card. Yeah, that's what I carry with me. Uh, might be a little overkill for some people. I like having all this stuff with me and this is what I do. Carry it with me. Now let's see if I can actually get it all back in the bag. 